Hello friends. In the present video, we will discuss about the types of slope failures. Types of slope failures. Generally, these are classified it into two types. One is translational failure. translational failure so i think from the name itself it can understand that translation means whatever the soil mass that is failing that slides over the slope simply next one is rotational failure rotational failure that means here whatever the soil mass that is failing the name itself it is implies rotational that means whatever the soil mass that is failed that soil mass will simply rotate with respect to some common point that is called the point of rotation first let us understand what is meant by a translation failure translation failure normally this failure will observed in the infinite slopes so if there is any infinite slope then this type of failure we can see there so let us consider an infinite slope let us consider a slope that is uh, extend a very long distance okay then let us assume that consider a layer at a depth h from the ground surface let us say from this ground surface we are considering the a layer at a distance of h let us say on this layer the shear stress acting on this layer let us this will be equal to tau and the strength of the soil along this layer will be s as s is tau is nothing but applied shear stress this will try to cause this soil mass to move in the downward direction but as the soil having some shear capacity this will try to restrain it let us assume that the shear strength of the soil along this layer will be s so let us say if this is the applied force and this is the resisting force so when this slope will be stable as long as your shear strength is greater than the applied shear stress then our slope will be stable once this shear stress if it exceeds the shear strength of the soil then only translation failure occurs that means if your tau if it is greater than the s then we can get the translational failure suppose if you don't want any translational failure that means to avoid failure whatever the shear stress that means what are the shear stress that is acting on the depth h let us say that i am calling it as a tau max to avoid the failure the maximum shear stress acting on the infinite slope that should be less than the shear strength capacity of the soil so let us find out factor of safety factor of safety is nothing but a it is nothing but a shear strength to the shear stress what is the shear strength of the soil denoted by s and whatever the shear stress acting on the layer that will be denoted as a tau suppose if this factor of safety if it is greater than 1 that means your shear stress is less than the shear strength then we will call it as a safe slope if your factor of safety if it is coming less than 1 that means your applied shear stress it is coming greater than the shear strength capacity then in this case the slope will be unsafe suppose if this factor of safety is equal to 1 that means the applied shear stress is also equal to the shear strength capacity then we can say that it is under critical condition and also we can say that it is on the verge of failure that means 
even if after this factor of safety that means if your shear stress is greater than just even by 1 mega pascal or 0.1 mega pascal the slope will be failure so that's why it is called the it is on the verge of failure even though if small magnitude is increased in the shear stress the failure will occur now this is about the translational failure so for this stability of slope we have to make sure that your shear strength capacity should be greater than the shear stress acting on the layer now let us talk about the rotational failure as we have already discussed rotational failure normally this failure will observe in the finite slopes and also we will call it as a man made slopes the name itself implies that means whatever the soil mass that is going to failure that mass is simply going to rotate with respect to some common point that is called the point of rotation so for that let us consider an example consider an embankment like this let us assume that this is of the slope is of limited depth having magnitude h then here suppose let us assume that if this is the soil mass that is going to be failure then this whole soil mass will rotate with respect to some common point so this point is called the point of rotation so this whole mass whatever i am hatching the area this whole mass will simply rotate with respect to some point of rotation so that's why it is called the rotational failure as the soil mass is rotating with respect to some coin point then here the factor of safety will be find out based on the movement condition so here we have to talk about the two different types of movement one is because of the let us call it as it is md md is nothing but a driving movement that means because of some external forces or else we can call it as a disturbing forces those forces will try to rotate this soil mass with respect to some point that means this movement is trying to cause the rotation of the soil mass that's why it is called driving movement as some applied forces are trying to rotate the soil mass at a same time as our soil is having some capacity that soil mass will try to restrict the movement so what is that moment is called that is called the rotation moment or else we can call it as a resisting moment this is developed from the soil as long as your driving moment is less than the resisting moment your slope will be safe so your slope will be safe as long as your driving moment is less than the resisting moment once your driving moment is coming more than the resisting moment then we can call it as that this slope will be failure slope so from this what can we call it as a factor of safety factor of safety it is nothing but called as a resisting moment divided by driving moment so just like in the previous case if your factor of safety if it is coming greater than 1 then we can say that the slope will be unsafe that means the resisting movement should be greater than the driving moment and also in this under this rotational failure there may be if we go in sub classification there may be three different types of failure can occur so again i will classify this rotational failure into three different categories that means one is nothing but a tau failure and another one is nothing but a phase failure and another one is nothing but a base failure again from the name itself we can understand that means if it is a tau failure the failure mass will pass through the tau point if it is a phase failure the failure mass will cut along the face of the slope if it is a base failure the failure slope will cut along the base so this type of classification we can identify depending upon the depth factor so from the magnitude of depth factor we can identify which type of failure is going to be happen 
so for the understand let us consider again an embankment and also let us consider there is a some hard surface below the base of the embankment at some distance x let us say this distance is nothing but a d and let us say this is nothing but a ground surface ground level and the height of the embankment let us consider the height of the embankment is nothing but a h okay the depth factor that means the depth factor will be defined i am writing it as a d subscript f that will be defined as a h plus d divided by h so if this depth factor if it is greater than 1 then we may have the base failure that means how the rotational mass will happen the rotation of the mass that will going to happen like this that means the rotation of the soil mass will touch the below the ground level surface so this is called the base failure normally this type of failure will occur when below the ground level the soil is very very smooth in that case only we can have the base failure so what about the second case if your depth factor if it is equal to 1 then we may observe the toe failure that means whatever the soil mass that is failure that point is passing through the toe of the embankment what is the toe of the embankment this point so the failures mass slope that pass through the toe point so this one is called it as a toe failure so similarly the another factor that means if your depth factor if it is coming less than 1 then it is called as a face failure that means whatever the soil mass that is going to fail that is cutting or passing through the face of the embankment so if the soil mass failure happen like this then this will call it as a face failure so depending upon this depth depth factor we can identify the which type of failure is going to happen in the or under the rotational failure now that's it about the types of slope failures in the next class we will study about the stability of the infinite slopes thank you